And it doesn't matter that Bruce Jenner or Caitlyn Jenner or whatever this person's name is, he's a human being. That is not what the Republican Party stands for. That's not what the official Republican Party platform stands for. And it's incredible the the 360 pivot so many of these people are doing who were making videos about how there are only two genders. If you're not with us, you are against us. And those people have to be qual uh, to, to have to be categorized as our enemies. Michelle you are an inspiration to a lot of people. I look up to you. You don't care what anybody thinks, but I care what you think. <laughs> For the people watching at home, there's a lot of people that call themselves Republicans and conservatives that for some reason are now promoting a transgender governor over in California as a Republican. And they still call themselves America first. What does it really mean to be America first? Well, we put God first. Number one, when we put the nuclear family first. And that also means putting this country, its citizens, its workers, its students, its people above all others in both domestic policy and foreign policy. And you can apply very specific litmus tests and separate the phonies from the real deal. I said it in my remarks uh, in my live stream with Nick, I said it in my, my remarks here, and I'm going to keep repeating it as long as I have breath uh, to give to this and as long as I still have whatever platforms I still have. It is the most important issue facing the Republican Party, the conservative movement, and the future of nationalism and populism. And if we've got these supposed Trump leaders who are backing a transgender Hollywood celebrity whose entire family represents Hollywood excess and enables all of the worst vices that have corroded our culture, that have corroded the civic fabric, what is even the point? What is it even the point? And so the brand distinction uh, it's up to us to, to make it. That's why we have to be very forceful. And that's also why we have to do outreach to you know, more normy circles. People who are beginning to question. People who saw all of the swamp creatures stabbing Donald Trump in the back. Some of Donald Trump's own family members who are not with us. And, you know, if you're not with us, you are against us. And those people have to be uh, to, to have to be categorized as our enemies. They're every bit our enemies as the ones that the normies all already identify, right? China, Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, right? And we saw this week this all-out civil war, the exposure of the TPUSA types who are now all of a sudden pivoting from socialism sucks to oh, we gotta really rethink that, right? Right? And then you know, deleting a lot of uh, inconvenient videos. <laughs> Right? At the same time, however, many of these same people in these organizations are pimping Caitlyn Jenner! Yes. Hey, thanks for helping us out with the brand distinction there. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Keep so, going. Real quick, for the people watching who might be saying, well, whatever, he's a Republican, and so what if he's a transgender? That'll really own the libs, and that'll be so funny. Can you explain real quick, I don't want to take too much of your time, why that's not funny and why you should actively, seriously, condemn any right winger that you've ever looked up to that says that that's okay because they're lying to you. Right. That is the propagation of a perverse lifestyle. Yes. And it doesn't matter that Bruce Jenner or Caitlyn Jenner or whatever this person's name is. He's a human being. That is for sure. I'm, you know, you cannot deny the humanity of any person, no matter how confused, no matter how mentally ill they might be. Um, that is not what the Republican Party stands for. That's not what the official Republican Party platform stands for. And it's incredible the, the 360 pivot so many of these people are doing who were making videos about how there are only two genders, okay? I think we're thinking of the same. We won't name names, no, but yeah. well, if you're watching this and you're offended, 
if the shoe fits, then just wear it yeah. and change your, you know, go back to what you believe in. You know, this cognitive dissonance may be something that you can afford if you, you know, sort of make your living in a cable TV newsroom or green room or something like that. But this is about our future. This is about our survival. And this is about our sovereignty. These people are making a joke of what's left, what the shredded remains, the iotas of what's left of the conservative movement. And if Christians and conservatives and American families and parents stand, stand up for it, we're just hastening our complete demise. And um, I'll be looking to people like Michelle rather than, uh, I won't name names, but we should look up to more people like you, even though you've been outcasted, but I think that's made you stronger in the long run because people flock to you because if you've been outcasted by certain people, it's a good litmus test and it's a badge of honor, I think. So thank you, Michelle, for being here. We appreciate everything that you do. Thank you so much. I just, I just want to say, Caitlin, that I draw my inspiration from young leaders, brave gals like you. Yes. Thank you. Oh my God. She didn't pay me for this endorsement. But, uh, you know, you give me so much hope. And every time I think, oh, I'm about to hang it up. I'm ready to retire. I've done this for too long. You know, gals like you come on to the scene. You're the new role model. You're oh, a hero. Thank you. All right. That's so sweet. I know. It's like a Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of censorship, there's a lot of people here that are banned from social media. But more importantly, there's a lot of conversations happening that are banned from social media. To watch the full uncensored, uncut portion of the press conference from Michelle Malkin and other very influential people, go to libertyhangout.tv. Okay, so you just told me one crucial yeah. piece of information that you support me on Patreon. I so do. I, I have do. to say thank you so yes. much. Number one, you pay for this guy yes. right here. Yeah, to be no. here with me. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. No, you need to stay safe because Antifa, more like Antifa. So <laughs> they're terrible. They really are. They're terrorists. But yes, it's good. You need support and you need protection. Definitely. Thank so you. yeah, support her. Definitely. If you have the money and you really believe in what she does, support her. Thank you. This is not scripted or anything. It's not. Genuine no, it's not. Thank you so much. I came much. from California. <laughs> I'm sending you some California love. Not too much. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much love from California. <laughs> and the next day you wake up and you have no voice. And when you have no voice, you have no choice. This is why this battle is, as Nick said in his America First live live stream earlier today, an existential battle. It's about our First Amendment rights and our Second Amendment rights and our Fourth and our Sixth and our Eighth and our Tenth and our Fourteenth Amendment rights. All of them. And look what's under attack. Every institution that represents the historic American nation. That's their enemy. Why do you think I wear this America First hat? Each part of it I mean. This country first. No other. This country or else. And this is more important than ever. Go to libertyhangout.tv right now to watch Caitlin Bennett uncensored. Not only will you get to watch exclusive content from me, but you'll get to say you stood for the truth, you stood against radical leftism, and you stood up for America.